Hello everyone. Welcome to another video. Now this video is about string and uh, this is this is quite interesting because we'll be using two pointers to solve this problem. So what this question is about, let's just first uh, into the question and then we will see how we'll, we are going to solve this. So let me open this. Okay. So what the question is that we are given a string i d i d our first example and based on the string we need to create an array of length uh, length of string plus one that is in this case length of string plus one okay how now how are we going to create this so basically they have given us two question uh, two um, constraints two checks okay uh, two conditions these are the two conditions what are these if the character is i in that case our result at i ith index should always be less than result at i plus one index and if the character is d our result at ith index should be greater than result at i plus one index so as per our solution like the the answer to this question is that uh, 0 4 1 3 and 2 so if you will see 0 is less than 4 so we have i 4 is greater than 1 so we have d 1 is less than i so we have i and 3 is greater than 2 so we have d okay so this is our this resulting array uh, after applying this condition is giving us giving us the string back okay and we need to create this array so how will, how are we going to do this let's look into that as well <clears throat> let me write this uh, string again id i d so let's take two pointers first is going to be left pointer which is which will point to the starting of the um, our array and another is going to be our right pointer which will have uh, like the last value of our string okay i'm sorry this left pointer is also going to be uh the first point at like it is going to be zero so it doesn't matter where it is pointing right right pointer that is going to be the length of our string okay so what next okay we need our result array okay so let's do a walkthrough here what we'll do and uh, like it will be easier so what we'll do is first we'll we'll be at this uh, starting index we will check if the first character is i or d like we'll check what the character is if it is i then whatever the left pointer is we will assign that value here okay we have seen i will increment this value to one now we'll increment this index now we are here now it is if it is d what we'll do is we'll assign this right pointer to here and we'll decrement this value now we'll, we are at i so left pointer will be here and we'll increment this now at d so right pointer will be here and we'll decrement this now if you will see uh, we have gone through our string uh, like the string given to us right but our last value is still empty like we are we are still yet to fill that so for this what we'll do is we will check the last value of our string okay if it is i then we will assign left pointer and we will increment it if it is uh, uh, i uh, i'm sorry if it is d then we'll assign the right pointer so in this case it is d so we'll assign to here okay and so our resulting array is ready and we'll simply return this okay so it's really simple let's jump into the code and uh, we'll see how that works so first we need a result so that is going to be the size of our string plus one okay we need two pointers first is going to be our left pointer which will point to zero and another is going to be our right pointer which will point to the um 
length of our string now another thing we also need to take care of the index right uh, where we are we are assigning this index we are assigning this index we are assigning this index we need to we need to take care of that as well so let me create an index as well okay now let's go through our character c in s dot two can array okay if you don't want to convert this s dot two can array you can also do like um for int i equals zero i less than s dot length i plus plus and we can say s dot caret index i okay that is also fine if you want to do this way you, you are good to go uh, if that is equals to i okay <coughs> what we'll do is our result at index that is going to be equals to left pointer after that we need to increment our index and we also need to increment our left pointer okay else like uh, you can use else or else if because uh, you can directly use else because we are expecting only two characters i or d we are not expecting any other value so if it is i then it will go into the i if loop uh, if statement and if it is not i then it is only d so it will go into the else part so else result of index is going to be right pointer and uh, what we'll do we'll increment our index we'll uh, decrement our right pointer after this for loop as we see we, if, if you remember our last uh, value is still going to be like empty for that what we check if um, s dot care at, at what at last index if that is equals to i in that case what we'll do is we will have result index equals to left pointer else we'll have result at index equals to right pointer okay and after this we'll simply return our result now this code looks uh, very uh, untidy and uh, all that right so let me do some refactor uh, let me let me refactor this code a little bit so index plus plus it is not required to do individually i can directly do index plus plus here similarly i can do that for left pointer as well and since it is only one statement i we don't even need the curly braces here same thing with uh, result index let me remove this this is going to be negative and since we don't require this so that's fine okay so this is also if it is only one statement and this is also single statement so now it looks much better much shortened and much easier to understand okay so let me submit this and i hope i did not make any mistake okay <clears throat> so it's really that simple um yeah so that's it for this video i hope you like this one and uh, do let me know if you have any other suggestions uh, or uh, queries for me to solve from any other platform thank you for watching i'll see you in the next one till then keep coding